Oh, so we're we looking this way? We're like, yeah, what? Just just like, I'll be sat for you. Okay. Yeah. Personally, wouldn't describe myself as either masculine or feminine. Yeah, people in the past have sort of described me as feminine, or they wouldn't see me as masculine. Recently, though, um, like I was on a metro and I was sat here, and there was this other guy sat there, and he was really excited to shout, and he was like, um, "Why do gay guys like you talk like that?" Like, because I was just like, "I don't know what you're talking about. This is just how I talk." And then it was like, nah, you talk like that, don't you? Because you want to attract other gay guys, don't you? As I got off the metro, he was following me. I did feel quite threatened after that. Eventually he left me alone because I was on my way to go to a salsa class. I mean, I'm smiling as I'm saying that, but it did make me feel quite um, threatened. Yeah, I mean, my voice is something that I've always been quite insecure about, just because I guess I don't really talk like most other boys. I don't believe in the construct of femininity and masculinity because they're just literally just made up things. If you're a boy, it's blue. If you're a girl, it's pink. We have that at gender reveal parties. It's a made up thing. We're influencing people to be in a certain way. My voice gives me away that I'm different. I think how I am is completely normal. I, I don't like that word actually, normal. I've never felt like I needed to conform myself to society. I've always just sort of been myself. 